Yo guys, welcome back to a PC show, Brilliant Stars video. Today, guys, I'm excited to show off my Empoleon Suicune deck. Now, Empoleon has a really awesome ability. The problem is just kind of a mediocre attacker. Its ability, emergency surfacing states, once you're in turn, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you have no cards in your hand, you can put on your bench and draw three cards, which is actually really, really cool um, as you're able to kind of utilize this card, kind of like the mustard cards, which is really awesome. And it puts a free Pokemon in play and you draw three cards. Now, the issue is its attack water arrow is a little underwhelming. It only does one for 60. A 60 snipe isn't terrible against stuff like Sobbles and Hound Hours, but unfortunately, the card itself it just doesn't do a lot of damage. Now, the way I decided to build it is I also wanted to attack with it and see what we can do with that attack. There's other ways I have to play it. I wanted to attack with it, though. So the way I built it is with Suicune. It kind of goes hand in hand. You can build up Suicune's attack, Blizzard Rondo, with Empoleon's ability, put in a free Pokemon to play, but you can also use it to two-shot stuff. We can go, say, Empoleon, Water Arrow, Snipe a V with a Telescopic Sight on, and then Blizzard Rondo knock it out, or Blizzard Rondo the Pokemon, and then knock them out with Empoleon's attack. You can kind of see the synergy there. And I really wanted to make it work as an attacker, not just using it for the ability. So yeah, for the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCGO codes, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you're looking to get any sets like Brilliant Stars, the main set right now, or older sets, something like Evolving Skies or Fusion Strike or Celebrations for any Pokemon TCG Live shenanigans get them over at card cavern if you get any codes at card cavern at the checkout use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order help channel help yourself out and up our card cavern so check them out and use code ldf yeah i really want to make empoleon work as an attacker um because when i make all these you know when i make these videos on all these new cards i want to attack with them and i kind of don't want to use empoleon just for the ability i want to be able to attack with it and i think i did the best thing i could to make it work in this Suicune deck. Thankfully, Toscap Excite is good with it. Empoleon would have been a lot better, by the way, if it was a Rapid Strike card, because you would have been able to use Basimian, and then you can do like 120 snipes in total, which actually would be really, really good. But unfortunately, it is not a Rapid Strike Pokemon like the Empoleon V is. So it's a little underwhelming, but I wanted to make it work the best way I could. Empoleon can be easily put into play through Shady Dealings and Ultra Ball, which is a fantastic item card when combined with these Empoleon Mustard combos. So Ultra Ball is a fantastic upgrade. I'm just so glad they made Ultra Ball a thing again in the format. Um, this list I'm playing, I mean, it's just a Suicune deck. No Ludicolo shenanigans. Um, just kind of relying on Empoleon. Empoleon was pretty good in here, and it is a lot of fun to play this card. Believe me, I love these type of strategies where you kind of put your hand down at zero and strike with Empoleon. And again, it isn't bad to use Water Arrow when combined with Suicune's attack. Setting stuff up to be KO'd, knocking stuff out is pretty good. Sometimes you can even come out of nowhere with, like, surprise knockouts on stuff like Little Sobbles or Hound Hours. It's a bit harder to pull off turn one Empoleons. You have to draw really well to do that. It is possible. A bit rare to do. It's usually on your second turn, so it's not as good. But as best I can come up with, Choice Belt with Suicune, by the way, it's really, really good. You're going to see a few times where Choice Belt was pretty insane in this deck overall. Um, but I tried my hardest to make Empoleon work as an attacker. And trust me, I got some other really cool Empoleon um, combos in mind. Um, unfortunately, they're not attacking Empoleon decks, but I still use it to kind of go with the synergy of the deck. So it won't be the last you see of Empoleon, trust me. But I wanted to make sure I got this one out of the way. But let's go try it on PC Joe. See in action and check out what it's all about. All right, we won the coin flip, which is good. We'll take it and go first, and especially if we can get a turn to Empoleon going, that'd be great. We have a Sobble start, we have Empoleon, but the rest of our hand is just kind of unplayable. So hopefully we can get like a Ultra Ball or something, because I want to do Empoleon here. I think it's Mimikyu VMAX. That's actually kind of scary. Not much I could do. The starting hand is just kind of bad. We can keep calling next turn and then go from there, but no drizzles or anything, which is really bad. They do need to get the Empoleon in play. Yeah, they're playing the Mimikyu, though, which is tough. They might be playing Inteleon, which is also pretty bad for us. Quick shooting is not good for my... And, of course, they do have it. This is why I need Empoleon. See, I can go Empoleon here. Knock out that Sobble. Marty me. Let's go. Okay, there's a chance. If we can draw well enough here, we could try to KO the Sobble here, which is what I want to do. So let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. I don't have it. Hmm. No, I do have it. I think I'll Ultra Ball, though. I think I do have it, actually. Yeah, no, I do have the Empoleon. Oh, they got two Sobbles, though. No. Hoping they not. They only get one in play, so I can knock it out. Still not that one, though. It's pretty good. They still have to find an energy. Okay, that's good. I guess I can get the... I can go Empoleon here. I can't... Well, hopefully I can KO the Sobble. But ideally, I can knock out Sobble. And then I can knock out... Another thing. 
Go Ultra Ball. Do this. Do this. We have to get rid of another Pokemon. Only problem with this. I'll ditch one of the Suicunes, I guess. <laughs> kind of have to. I need to be able to get the Symbolion down. Grab another... Should grab a Sobble now before they get the uh, Mimikyu in play. All right. Hopefully we get an energy here so we can KO Sobble. It'd be pretty good for us so we can knock it out. I whiff the energy. The energy whiff. You hate to see it. No, dude. I really wanted to get that KO there. That actually sucks a lot. Not gonna lie. I guess we can Melanie. Should have maybe grabbed Suicune instead of Sobble. I didn't get the water energy anyways. Wouldn't really matter. Damn. It's a big whiff. I really wanted that there, right? We, I really wanted to kill the Sobble. I could still do it, but they probably have a drizzle in their hand anyways. Damn it. They're gonna... Uh, they're gonna mimic you me here. Can't do anything about it. See, if they had one Sobble to work with, it would have been a lot better for us, right? Yeah, they have the drizzle. Honestly, I probably should have played the Scoob Up Net to avoid an Acerola's Premonition, so they can only draw one card. That whiff is just so disappointing, though. I could still go Rope, though. I could still attack the Mimikyu with Empoleon, which is still not terrible, because then I can set up to be killed by Suicune. Which actually might be good, especially because they probably will not get a lot of my stuff. Hopefully, they do not draw into the Knockout here with Mimikyu VMAX. That's why I'm like, all right, we need to knock out that, that Sabo there. So hopefully, they don't get me, but we'll see. I mean, if not, I can go Inteleon. At this point, I might as well go Aqua Bullet, which is sad, but we're back up play. We'll see if they do here. They have another Quick Ball. They might get another Mimikyu. Okay, Quick Shooting is gone, which is good. I don't know. I could try to go... I could go Rope, hit the Mimikyu with Empoleon. Just set it up to be KO'd. I could knock out another Sobble. I could Aqua Bullet here. They fail that. Okay. That's pretty good. Hmm. I have a lot of... A lot of, a lot of things I could do here. Okay, well, first things first, we're going to go Inteleon. I think we're just going to attack with Inteleon, to be honest. I'm fine with that. Just Aqua Bolt the active. No choice spell site. We're doing 120. That's enough for the Suicune KO. So I'm probably just going to choice belt this. We'll bench that. Research. I don't know. I could try to rope knock out their Sobble. But I don't really know if that's like super necessary. Uh, actually, maybe we should have waited to bench Sobble before we attack with Suicune. I mean, I could just go Suicune here and knock them out, actually, which is probably just better. Yeah, let's do that then. Yeah, it's probably better to attack with Suicune here. It's fine. I don't know, man. I kind of want to KO the, the Sobble, but I think we definitely just want to take this KO. We'll take our prize. Okay, choice spell's good. And... Evil Instance is also good. The issue is, if they have Mimikyu, I mean, we have a bunch of trainers in our hand. I, I maybe could have played... I didn't want to play too many... No! They actually had another Acerola? Bro. Okay, well, that's annoying. That's fine. We're still in a pretty good spot, I want to say. I mean, this is annoying, obviously, but not the end of the world. They're going to KO... Uh, they can KO two Sobbles. Hmm. Maybe I go row, snipe the Mimikyu with Empoleon. I could try to force something out of my opponent. Or I could hit the Mimikyu with Suicune and then knock it out with Empoleon. That also could work. Okay, ooh, big charm. They're playing my list, which is pretty awkward. They got my list, bro. They are playing the LDF list, which is kind of bad for us. Hmm. Damn, I can't believe they had the other Acerola. It's annoying. Oh, but they put all the damage on the active. They don't go after my Sobbles. It's really interesting. I mean, I guess at this point, who cares if they ace Rolla? <laughs> I'm to accept it. Uh, do I want Training Cord? Not really. I don't want to give him more Psychic Energy. Get Drizzle. Try to work towards Inteleon if they don't take it out. See, now in this scenario, I could go... This is why I want to go Rope Boss and then snipe this with... Uh, Empoleon, but I could probably finish off with Empoleon, which is probably just fine. They don't really know what to grab with this, though, to be honest. What do I even... I don't really think I even need anything. 
I could sight the other Inteleon. Does that ever matter? We're doing 50 damage snipes? I mean, I guess. Then the deck out. And then we'll go... Attach. I could just hit the active. They'll knock me out. And then I can go snipe with Empoleon. But she have Drizzle survives. Maybe I should put two Drizzles in play then. We have 60 and 90 is 150. They could do quick shooting, knock out my Drizzle. Go double Drizzle here. I can go Inteleon. Actually, I think that is worth it. Let's do it. I could always net this if I really have to to get the Sheet Dealings back. Let's just do this. But I don't know what to grab. I don't want to give him the uh, Training Court. I don't want to give him that Psych Energy back. I don't think there's anything to really grab off this, to be honest. Like, what card do I not care for? So I don't want them to drop too many cards, I guess, if they do play a thing. So let's fail that. And then we'll just close a Drondo them for a big chunk of damage. How much HP do they have left? 100. So yeah, now I can go Quick Shooting plus Empoleon, knock out Mimikyu next turn. And then... And then all I have to do is snipe the Sobble to win. Or you know what I could do? I could just knock out Sobble next turn. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe we actually should have taken out the Sobble then because they had a one card hand. I don't know. It's like if they have... But if they have the play there, then that just feels bad. But now I wish I KO'd the Sobble. But no, I can knock out... But now I could just knock out Mimikyu plus Farfetch to win also with Empoleon. I could just win in two attacks with Empoleon, which also works. Hopefully they don't get a quick shooting here. This also works, right? Oh, they mentioned their Sobble. So yeah, I could knock out Sobble, and then I could take out Mimikyu down the road. Honestly, that's not even a bad play, right? But I have to kill the Mimikyu first, because it's got the big... Because I have the sight on this, so I have to get the Mimikyu first. Okay, that's fine. See, I'm glad I went double drizzle. See, I only got quick shooting, too. They could get Shady D now. They got quick shooting. That's not... That's annoying. So now they can KO one of my drizzles here, which really sucks. But we are in a pretty good spot. Yeah, they'll... Oh, they'll get, oh they went for Suicune. They still are content with knocking out my Suicunes. I don't agree with that play. Especially because when I evolve all my little Pokemon, like, good luck taking them out. Because they can knock out two solves at once, so I can deny them from doing that. But now we're just going to win the game, I think. What I could do is I could... I don't want to bring in Intalion because it, it can attack me. Do I just bring in the Surfetched? I can bring in the Farfetched here. We're going to knock out the Mimikyu here with Empoleon. We're actually going to get to use Empoleon. Let's get it. Go quick shooting. Play the bucket. Just trying to figure out what I want to boss. Do I... No, Farfetch can attack me. I think we just boss Drizzle. They can net it, though. They haven't played a net yet. We could just boss this, to be honest. Works, too. Yeah, I'll just boss this. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. A little quick shooting. We'll knock out the Mimikyu here. And then... That's just kind of a wrap, I think. How many Shady Dealings do we have left? Still have a few. I, bet I can bench Sobble in peace, right? It's not a big deal if I bench that. And then I can just go Water Arrow. And then next turn, I win by knocking out either Sobble or Farfetch'd with quick shooting. Or I could even knock out the Drizzle with Empoleon by going double quick shooting with scoop up net. So I think we've got him. I think that's GG's. Empoleon can kind of clean up here from kind of clean up, which is kind of the idea of it. Now I can just kind of clean up the stuff and that should be basically wrapped up. We'll see how it goes. My opponent can Liberhorn the Suicune, which is actually pointless. They can Liberhorn Empoleon, which is pretty bad. Yeah, I think we got him. This is why I brought in the, uh, the Galarian Rapidash. Not a good attacker. Oh, I guess they could go Mimikyu. They could go Mimikyu V here and Jealous Eyes me. And I just go net for boss anyways. So, I mean, no matter what, we're winning the game. Kind of makes it awkward for them. I get, they can move Jealous Eyes. This is why I never gave them the training court. Because I don't want them to get access to a free psychic energy. Just kind of make them work for it, I think. You know, that's kind of how it goes. Yeah, they're going to go mimic you. Hmm. We'll see if they go for the... They probably have it, right? That is annoying. I kind of want... No, dude, I wanted to use Empoleon again. No. I guess we're going to win boss. Whatever. Mm, they have the Fog Crystal. Maybe if they Marnie me here, I can put another Empoleon in play. I kind of want to win with Empoleon, but... I mean, we'll win with Boss anyways. This works too, I guess. Empoleon did what it was supposed to do, right? Sniped the Mimikyu, knocked it out, which was kind of the whole point. See, now I we're, now we're regret not bossing the, the Farfetch or something. I should have just done that the whole time. I could have avoided the Jealous Eyes. I kind of forgot about that. Whatever. Now they're going to drizzle. They might Marnie me here. But they Marnie me into a good enough hand, I can... I mean, I still have three Ultra Balls in the deck. If they Marnie me into a good hand, I can still go... For the Empoleon knockout and win the game that way, which is what I want to do, but we'll see. 
I mean, we can always win with boss, but again, I kind of, yo, gotta win with Napoleon, bro. It's, it's in the thumbnail, it's in the title. It's more of a support Pokemon, but I really want to win with it. I want Napoleon to put in more work than it already did in this video, so we'll see how it goes. Alright. They fail the shady dealing? Really? Oh, they're researching. Alright. Well, I guess we're just gonna win with boss, because we're not gonna be able to put the Empoleon back into play, most likely. Yeah, there's no way. Well... There's a will, there's a way. I guess I could go scoop up net, but then I... No, it's not gonna work. We're just gonna take the boss knockout. It's fine. Really wanted to win with Empoleon, though, but it is what it is. Because we were going to go quick shooting knockout this or quick shooting kill drizzle, but yeah, I shouldn't have bossed a Rapid Ash, kind of predicting that play. But we can just win here with uh, the boss or Rope. Rope wins us the game, too. I'll play Rope. It's fine. All right, GG. Does Rope win us a game? Yeah, it does. Let's Rope him. Whatever they bring in gets one shot by Suicune. All right, yeah, really wanted to win with Empoleon, but Empoleon still did what it was supposed to do. It put itself in a play for Suicune. And it took out the Mimikyu VMAX, forcing my opponent to only knock out a single prizer. So it still worked out in our favor at the end of the day. So it was still a W in my books. So we'll take it. That game actually could have been a lot closer. I feel like my opponent maybe should have just went after the Sobbles there. Because setting up quick shooting was a big deal. But hey, we'll take it. We'll take those dubs. Okay, we lost the coin flip. We're playing against Zacian too. I hate losing the coin flip against Zacian. They always get that Intrepid Sword for three energy. But we'll see how it goes. Open up the Sobble on a mana fee. Open up Sobble. We can also keep calling. We don't know what we're playing against just yet, but it is most likely Zacian. Which means we do have to deal with Intrepid Sword. And if they get a lucky one, we're chilling. Oh, what? They open up with an Arceus. Wait a minute. They're playing Arceus V Star or Arceus. Whatever. People, people like to say Arceus or Arceus. I like saying Arceus. Arceus just rolls better off the tongue. But it is what it is. I got playing some metal Arceus deck. I can't, bro. I can't say Arceus, bro. It sounds so silly. Arceus, metal Arceus. Now, this is annoying because they are going first, and that means they're gonna get an Intrepid Sword, and they're gonna, yeah, Intrepid Sword for an energy one time, bro. Yeah, let's get it, bro. Out of nowhere, bro. Turn two Brave Blade knockout on my friggin' Suicune. Well, I'm gonna grab a Suicune here, and then Marnie them, I guess. We're just going to keep calling. It really sucks. We're probably going to see our Suicune die here, but not much you can do about it. Do both Intellions. That's a pretty bad Marnie, I'm not going to lie. And they have two Sobbles in the deck as opposed to three, which is not good. So hopefully we don't see a knock-in on my Suicune here. It's unlikely that it doesn't happen, so. I don't know. I maybe shouldn't have gone Suicune, but I want to get it anyways. Because if they don't knock out Suicune, I still want to have it in play regardless. But it is what it is. It just sucks. They have that cheesy Intrepid Sword. They got an energy on it. Our hand is pretty bad, too. Again, I don't really want to lose these Inteleons. I'm going to have to probably Marnie again, to be honest. Yeah, I don't really want to lose Inteleon here. There's a Crystal Cave. That's fine. Okay, research. No boss. They had a boss in their hand, too. Okay, we got lucky they didn't have the Arceus V-Star. I'm going to Marnie here, probably. Sobble Living's actually pretty good, to be honest. Okay. Now... I mean, attacking with Suicune is just not going to do good anything. It's a stupid station. The fact they're down a boss tells me they might not have energy, though. We'll see. Net's pretty good. Go Trizzle here. Or... Bucket. Definitely want to get energy on Suicune. Now, um, definitely want a Marnie. For now. Net this. Put that there. It's not going to evolve the active Sobble. There's no point. It's going to die. Right now, I actually do want to get Inteleon and play at some point also. So, kind of works out. So, we'll Marnie them here. Make sure we protect our Inteleons. I need to try to set up Empoleon, though. Try to get some extra Pokemon in play. And also, Empoleon could be good to finish off these Asians and stuff. Okay. That's a pretty good hand. That is an Empoleon. We actually put that in play right now, which I'm probably going to go ahead and do. Yeah, let's just put the Empoleon into play now. I like it. Do this. Get rid of mana fee. That feels bad, but I do need to get rid of the extra Pokemon here to pull this off. And then I can grab another, get another Suicune just in case, and then Empoleon, and go from there. Again, it really sucks. So we're probably gonna see we're gonna see a knock it on my uh, Suicune here most likely, but we'll see. I love ball. I can put another Empoleon in play, and then. Now, here's the thing. I actually could retreat Sobble into Empoleon to protect it. 
protect the Sobble from getting knocked out. So I have more shady dealings to work with. Which honestly, I don't even hate that. I imagine we're going to see our Suicune go down. They are down one boss. Maybe they only played two and they prized one, but it's unlikely. But yeah, I can protect Sobble here and go into Empoleon. So I'm probably just going to put it back into play anyways. So I'm fine with that. And then we can always rope anyways if worse comes to worse. I don't have an energy though, so I don't know. I think rope's fine though. Okay, they do have the V-Star. We're probably going to see... Yeah, there's double turbo. They can go Star Birth for boss choice belt. If they don't do that though, I can hit them with uh, Blizzard Rondo and then finish off with Empoleon. I don't know, this could be tough. Going through three V Pokemon might be a bit of a challenge. I will right, we'll see if they grab boss here. Let's see. I don't get to see if they grabbed, but we'll see if it's boss. Oh, they go switch. Are they going switch boss? Switch boss, right? Yep, there it is. There's the boss cheese. Sorry, Zish or Suicune. Yeah, that's two boss down though, which is good. That's unfortunate, but I can't do much about it. I don't know. I feel like it's just kind of a lost cause. I got the first knockout. I don't know. I got the Melanie here. Here's what we'll do. We'll go do this. We're going to put the Empoleon into play. Put the Empoleon back into play. Kind of sucks. I can't really do anything in this matchup, though. Grab quick shooting. And then... Level Ball. Fail that. Empoleon. All right. Yeah, it feels like a lost cause. Zacian is just too oppressive. It's just too oppressive. Okay, we got the Melanie. That's good. I was hoping to get that. Um, I don't know. It's not looking good, though. The best I can do is, like, smack with, smack with Suicune. Not even doing a lot of damage. They only have three Pokemon in play. I'm barely doing damage. So it's like, well, I'm not really barely doing damage. But I'm not doing a whole lot of damage. You know what I mean? All right, Fleet Foot. Rhyhan's pretty good. I'll just Blizzard Rondo. Now, if they don't knock me out here by like the most craziest miracle we survived the turn, I can finish off with Empoleon, which is what I'm going to do. But it's not looking good. I'm pretty sure the game is over. It's going to be tough to win this. They got the first knockout, right? Maybe I should have just not been Suicune. I, it's just, this Zacian is too, too aggressive. Maybe they don't have an energy. They are down a lot of metals already. They're down, what, seven metals? Maybe they don't have one. They can't put a double turbo energy on Zacian because it needs three metals. But if they knock me out here, we probably just lose. They could also have a switch, obviously. But we'll see. They could just not have anything. There's a chance. There's hope in the world that they might not have anything here. They don't have... Perfect. All right. Worked out. See? Now, I do want to get a knockout here with Empoleon. Let's see if we can get off Fleet Foot. So I think I have to take the Empoleon knockout. Now, if they have another boss, we're probably done for. Hmm, so how am I doing this? If I can go Inteleon. Got shady dealings Intel. I could go Rope plus... I can quick shoot in the Arceus. I also could get Training Court here. Um, get rid of their crystal cave. Then I can quick shoot in the active. This is tough. Because, like, one, they're not benching any Pokemon. Two, this thing has 270 HP and it one-shot Suicune. I don't play Cape of Toughness. So, I basically am just hoping they don't have three boss and they don't find boss, essentially. They could have a Luminion, though. We might just get cheesed by a Luminion. I don't have... Hmm, no air balloon. So, I can go rope. I guess we're just going to do that. Rope here, I guess. Rope plus net seems pretty good. Sure. For the rope. I mean, it doesn't really matter with the Pokemon moves, obviously, but we do want to take this KO with Empoleon. Try to break the price trade. It's going to be tough, though. It's going to be tough. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure this is probably unwinnable at this point, but if we play well enough, maybe it is winnable. It's just like, again, these Asians are too strong. If they didn't get that first prize there, I think this would be a pretty winnable game. Like, if they had no prize taken at this point, I think we'd have a better shot of winning. But, unfortunately, they did take the prize. So, that's out the window. So, I can net here. Hmm. 
then I can... Do I need Shady Dealings? Not... No, I don't need it yet. Knockout Zacian. I could just grab Training Court. That's just so pointless, though. They probably have another Crystal Cave anyway. So they probably play four caves, right? And I can't compete with that with only one Training Court. What do I even Drizzle for? I don't really need anything. I just having the option for Italian though is pretty good. Um, so I should probably do it, right? So I can still attack with Aqua Bullet. That's kind of what I kind of want to do, right? I can grab Sight or Choice Belt. I'll grab Sight for now. I don't need Choice Belt just yet. We'll grab Sight. I'm not going to put that on the active, though, because this thing's might this thing's probably going to die. I don't know if I'm ever going to really need Sight, but I might, because of the Cape and the Crystal Cave. This thing's really hard to KO. The 90 damage might be really relevant. Put that there. And then we'll Water Arrow. Take that out. Pretty long turn, but we need to do what we gotta do. Now we just hope they don't have another boss knock it on my Suicune, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's just tough. Okay, Balloon's a really good prize. Football's good too. Balloon's really good though. I can pivot Empoleon or whatever. And I have a free pivot. Again, if they just have boss knock it on my Suicune, we probably just lose. I can't really do anything about that. It is what it is. Boss is just too good of a card. Speaking of boss, do I ever boss station here? See, the issue is I can I can take out the Arceus by going Blizzard Rondo into Empoleon, but I can't like chain together anything else they just have the saucer nuts too they got what three saucers in their hand what no chance okay so oh my goodness two card hand maybe they don't have a supporter if only empoleon didn't get ko'd here that'd be pretty good okay they do retreat the arceus though what is that hand bro they had boss plus saucer wow they had their third boss i am astonished well, we lose. Now oh, the game's literally over. I'm just going to concede. We pretty much can't win at that point with Empoleon and Intellion. It's not enough to win the game. They just drew the friggin' stones, bro. What can I say? All right, got some five uh, Brilliant Stars packs to open up here. So we can open up some Brilliant Stars here and see if we can get anything good. I have yet to pull an Altar Arceus V. This could be the time I maybe get one. We'll see. We got a Clink Clang. Nope, that's not good. All right, five packs from the ladder. Will they be good or will they be duds? Let's find out. All right, ooh, double rare. We'll open up this one. Yo, let's go. Altar Mimikyu. All right, and we got Empoleon, bro. Perfect for the YouTube video. As we're making a video on Empoleon, we actually pull the Mimikyu. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Mimikyu is not bad at all. Good, good art. Better than the regular VMAX art, technically. Um, ooh, Drampa V. I don't think I'm ever going to do a video on that. The card is just too bad. But you know what? It's a V at the end of the day. Better than, you know, just like a bad rare. Double rare again. Let's open up this one. Lapras. Tornadus. All right, we got one pack left to go. Can we get anything good in this last pack here? Um, no Arceus V one time. Oh, versus Empoleon and Drodagon. Well, Empoleon for the YouTube video. We got two Empoleons. Perfect for the YouTube video. All right, looks like we're going second here, which is fine. Our opening hand is actually okay. Um, if I get a water energy, this hand is ballin'. So we'll see if we can find a water energy or bucket. That'd be pretty good because we'd have a turn two Blizzard. We could have a turn one Blizzard Rondo, which can put on some pressure. We'll have to see though. If not, I could quick ball away Evo Incense for Empoleon, but it feels bad. Yeah, it's a right Quasar deck. They open up the Bolton, which is scary because now I am weak to Lightning. Okay, Bolton actually makes this matchup a little bit trickier. I guess it's good they're going first. They can't Electrify. And they bolt. They could bolster on me next turn and KO me, though, which is a problem. They get, like, Flaffy set up and stuff. Hopefully they don't get a Mareep here. They quick balled away a quick ball, though, which is good. They have Mareep. No Mareep, and we shouldn't be able to get killed. All right, we didn't. All right, cool. Arnie. All right, can I rip a Water Energy here? Nope. No Marnie them, then. Here of Empoleon. I do have my Quick Shooting, my Drizzle, Jay Dealings, and Talion's all there. Good to see. Sobble. Well, Marnie. And hopefully I don't whiff an Energy here. That'd be very annoying if I did. No Energy whiff one time. There we go. Ooh. Nice. This hand is good for next turn. We can... Oh, but I have to lose Intellion, though. Not sure how I feel about that. I can do the... I can do Empoleon next turn. Which is good. But at the same time, I don't want to lose Quick Shooting. That 20 damage actually might be a deal breaker. So I don't know about that. Hmm. I could Marnie and try to go into the Empoleon. So I kind of want to protect Quick Shooting. I actually think we're going to need that 20 damage output. It could be relevant. I want to be able to kill the Bolton, though. Don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, though. That's another reason why I want to keep Intellion. 
So I need to be able to KO the uh, Boltund. Let's say they're not playing Arceus V-Star. They get Crobat and Rayquaza. Sure, bench more Pokemon. Go ahead, yes. Fuel my attack. Yeah, it might be worth it to... I mean, I think it's definitely worth it to kill the Boltund here, no matter what. Okay, there's Crobat. They're benching more Pokemon. Hopefully, they put like a Mareep down too. If they play one more basic down, I can knock them out. No, they don't. I have to reach for Choice Belt for the knockout. Hmm. So now that, now that Marnie plays looking pretty spicy. We'll see if Fleet Foot gets us. Evil Winsense. Hmm. I can play that. Grab Drizzle. And I can Marnie. The Bolton KOing me is kind of sus. Maybe I should have ballooned the Suicune and retreated it, but what am I going into, though? That's the issue. Bench Man if he just try to bench as many things as we can, and then we'll Marnie here and hopefully draw into a knockout by some random miracle. No. But... I can go Empoleon, so this is actually not bad. I might get the knockout. All right, we can Ultra Ball here. Grab another Sobble. Then I can net the Manaphy. Rebench it. Emergency surfacing! Now we need to get another basic here to pop off. We do. We got a Suicune. Let's go! That should be a knockout. It is a knockout. Oh, that is so hype. Let's go Empoleon for the win. All right, that's what I like to see. Rainy Quartz good. And then, what else? Toy Spell's also really good. Okay, cool. Now, unfortunately, we're going to get killed by Rayquaza, but now I can go Empoleon, right? And I got quick shooting. Actually, my hand's pretty bad. <laughs> hmm, our hand is actually pretty bad, but I definitely just go Empoleon here. They have to get rid of three energy to KO me, which is pretty good. All right, that was a huge knockout. See, this is why the Empoleon's kind of good. Look at that. Just out of nowhere, we just came out and cleaned house on the Rayquaza. So I can smack Rayquaza with Empoleon, set it up to be KO'd by Suicune later on, which is pretty good. Net. Okay, that's good. I can go here. I can quick shooting this. I can put that on. And I can go... Net the Inteleon. Team Scooch. Losing Balloon's a little annoying, but no big deal. I can Marnie them. Which I'll go ahead and do. I could... No, me always Marnie. Now, do I play the Choice Belt? I don't think it matters. Yeah, we'll play the Choice Belt. There's no reason not to because we hit the active. I'm not going to play the Training Core. I don't want to give him free energy. And then we'll just Marnie here and hopefully get some good stuff. We do get another Sobble, which is good. Nice, nice. And I can just Water Arrow for 90 on the active. And now the Rayquaza is a lot weaker for Suicune. So, that's really good. I'm not going to be able to KO it next turn, though, which is the only problem. I don't have a Melanie to work with currently. Well, I do, but I don't have the ability to kill Rayquaza, but that's fine. I want them to mention Mareep, though. That's the thing. I kind of want them to mention Mareep. Now, unfortunately, Rayquaza does two-shot Empoleon with uh, Max Burst. But if I just hit it again, that's pretty good. They could play a Rose, though. They could Rose me. I still got to consider a Rose play, but even if they Rose me, I can still smack with Suicune and go from there. There's Boltund. Okay. Play more Pokemon. Oh, they do have a Rose. But they don't have a boss. So they're going to kill my Empoleon. Empoleon did what it needed to do, though. That is annoying they had Rose, though. I'm not going to lie. I need them to bench something with low HP, though, to maybe finish them off. Okay, there's a boss. That's fine. This will be a close one. That turn on Bolt on KO is huge. Okay, they're going to knock out Empoleon. That's fine. Uh, do they get to save an energy? They do. Let me take a Rose again. Shoot. Hmm. I can't KO them because they don't have another Choice Belt, right? I can't one-shot anyways. I can still quick shooting them. It'll be still good. I can put Empoleon back in play. Which I think I will go for at this point. Okay, we'll grab Evo Incense. Grab Inteleon so we can quick shooting them. Seems good to me. And then we'll go Raihan to Suicune. Grab Ultra Ball. Then out these cards. And then... Do that. Play the bucket. Grab a water. And then put Empoleon back into play. Again, this will be a close one. We aren't one-shotting them, but again, I can do quick shooting. 
which is good. All right, make sure I do fleet foot first, actually, before I forget. Okay. Quick shooting that. Let me go quick ball that away. Another Suicune. And then hope we don't get Rose knocked out. And if we do, that's going to be a little awkward. But I can kill them with quick shooting here. I can't win the game, though, if I do that. So we need them to bench a Flaffy or a Mareep or something. I'm surprised they haven't even mentioned Mareep yet, though, to be honest. I would have expected them to be playing Mareep. I guess they're not playing Mareep. I guess they're just relying on Rose. So this is going to be close. If they have a Rose here, we're in trouble. If they don't have a Rose and they don't knock me out, I think we just win the game. But again, we just don't have a way to finish off. We just don't have a Pokemon to finish off with Empoleon. So I was expecting them to ever play a Mareep down, but they just haven't done that. We'll see. It's going to be a close one for sure. I can still go Suicune. No, they have the Rose in their hand. No. Okay, they lose another boss, which is good. Or they lose a boss. We'll see. Oh, perfect, we won. Let's go. They did it. I knew it. I was expecting them to play Marie, especially because we're counting the Rayquaza and they don't have much left to work with. They finally played in a Marie. I think if I played, depending on what I draw, if I play well enough, I actually should be able to win two with... Um, with whatever they bring in with thing. But I do have game. Thank heaven say bench that. I think I was going to win the game regardless with Inteleon. Because I can go Inteleon. Suicune. Whatever. I quick shooting knock him out. Whatever they bring in I can knock out anyway. So I think I was winning no matter what. Even if they didn't mention the Mareep. So I think I had game regardless. Um, because I can go Shady Dealings Inteleon. And then I can. Whatever they bring in I can knock out with Blizzard Rondo. I'm pretty sure. So I think I had game regardless. Um, except. But. Well. Yeah. I would have had game regardless obviously. But it is good they bench Marie because it just makes my life a lot easier. But I had game regardless. Whatever they brought in, I think I had a... Whatever they brought in, I think I had a KO with. Well, except for Rayquaza, maybe. But I can still hit it and then, like, set up to be KO later on. But yeah, we just Raihan to Empoleon here. And win the game. There we go. Water arrow. Knock out Mareep. 6 HP. Let's get it. Empoleon for the win. And I think that'll wrap the video, guys, on this deck. That was a pretty nice game against Rayquaza. Yeah, I'm gonna end off the video with those matches there, of course. But yeah, this Empoleon deck is actually pretty sick. And I think Empoleon is a really, really fun card to play. And I'm glad I got to make it work in a way where I could actually attack with it and utilize its ability. And I think I was able to accomplish that in this video. I do have some other cool decks that use Empoleon um, that I will be doing videos on in the future. This won't be the last time you see this awesome card. And maybe down the road, somebody will crack a really cool idea for Empoleon other than just kind of playing it in this deck. But I'm glad I got to use it with its ability to help Suicune. But I'm also glad I got to use its attack also. And the attack actually put in work in today's video. We did take that L there to that Zacian Arceus deck, which is just hard to beat. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we got to accomplish it in this video. This deck was pretty fun to play and uh, was not bad at all. Choice Spell is also a pretty big upgrade to Suicune. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you got into the video, leave a like. If y'all are new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 26,000 subscribers. And uh, make sure to check out Car Cabin. If you're going to get any PDCGO codes, get them over at Car Cabin. Use Carl DF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord server down below. And I will catch you guys on another PDCGO video. Bye-bye.